Hey guys, EP Man here. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can double, or let's say triple your productivity on your laptop, be it at home, on a plane, or at the coffee shop, wherever you're at, even in college. So today we're gonna to take a look at a triple monitor setup that's going to expand your monitors uh, beyond their typical use. We're talking about a 15 inch uh, monitor setup that is gonna give you this kind of look. And let's face it, this type of productivity. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now your monitors do include a nice travel pouch and this travel pouch is gonna go really well with a backpack or if you're gonna put this in luggage because let's face it, if you're traveling and you wanna be able to be more productive, having a triple screen setup is definitely the way to go. Now in addition to having that travel pouch or, or bag, it does come with two screen protectors and these screen protectors are really gonna help when it comes to uh, you touching these screens uh, for whatever reason that you may. And also, since these are gonna be portable, you're gonna be traveling with them, it's gonna help protect them from any kind of scratches that could take place. Because let's face it, that kind of stuff happens. Now, as you can see in this setup, I do have a Lenovo Legion laptop uh, that is leveraging uh, this triple setup. Um, in addition to getting that, that uh, screen protector in the case that we talked about, you're gonna receive a variety of cables, lots of different cable options that are gonna allow you to connect this uh, triple screen setup to any laptop you have. So that's gonna work with a Mac, it's gonna work with a also Windows machines, M1 and M2 chipset type devices, right? And in this case, since we're running on a Windows, uh, again, the Nova Legion, in this case, there are no drivers to install. And they come with several adapters. You have HDMI cables, you have USB-C cables, right? that go from USB-A to USB-C. You also then have, I have everything connected USB-C to USB-C. But you can see that each one of these cables is gonna give you, again, a lot of flexibility depending on the device uh, that you're gonna be connecting to. And then this is another form of HDMI. Let me take this off so you guys can see it. It's a smaller form factor of HDMI. Let's get like right there so you can see that. All right, so it's not the traditional one. And on this side, it has a traditional HDMI. So when it comes to connectivity, there's really nothing that you need to buy in order to get this set up. Now, from a resolution perspective, you can see how we have the laptop here set up. I have um, some code that we're uh, working on, some sample code that we're testing, and you can see on the left, on the right, the monitors are performing well. Now, even for watching video, uh, streaming, let's say some, some content uh, for many of our streaming services on one monitor is very doable. The one thing I have noticed personally, and that's because of the laptop itself, is that the laptop's brightness um, out brightens the ones from the screens. Uh, but as you can see here, they're not very dim, right? So I'm not saying that they're terribly dim. I'm just saying that I can get my laptop screen to be brighter than I can these two monitors. But you're seeing right here what the monitor setup looks like when it comes to the brightness itself. Now, in addition to having your cables, um, you also do get a, a power adapter so that if you do need to supply some additional power to the monitors, you can. But in my case, I'm not having to do that. Now, what you see going on here is I have still two coding windows open, and then I have on the right, I have YouTube streaming. And I just wanted to show you again uh, the flexibility that you have when you have a triple monitor setup like this. You know, just the fact that you're able to um, consume content of various sources, and it's performing really well. And you can see uh, the color that's coming through there. Uh, gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to overall productivity. Now, on the side of the monitors, you do have multiple inputs that you can use depending on the type of laptop that you're using. Um, in this case, uh, I'm using USB-C because of the laptop that I have, so I'm able to get both power, video, and audio coming through USB-C. And in my, for my preference, for my use, the most modern laptops, USB-C is gonna be my choice. I won't use HDMI or any form of HDMI. But you can see right here my connection and then everything going over here. Over here, what you see is a little power button, and that power button allows you to turn on uh, the monitor. You also then have a toggle here that's gonna allow you to adjust your brightness, um, and then other settings, you can adjust some of your color settings by going into the menu. So you have those choices here as well. Now you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to the monitors, right? You can actually tilt this all the way on the other side. So let's say, for example, you're a real estate agent and you're talking to a couple of clients about a property. What you can do is have one screen facing you and this screen that you see on the side completely facing the up, up, opposite direction, right? Because this will continue to swivel the other way. So that gives you the ability to kind of have a more personal presentation when it comes to the laptop. You can also then swivel this in and you can see as I'm swiveling it in, 
how far it can swivel it in. So this is gonna give you, again, almost bringing it uh, into a, con a cockpit type view. And it also creates some privacy because let's face it, if you're in an area and you don't want everyone seeing what's going on, you'll probably tilt both screens inward so that you can make sure that you have everything brought into the area that you're working on and not anyone you know, kind of trying to observe what's going on. But you can do that with both screens. So you can see here, I'm gonna bring this one in, right? And you can see how I have this one right here. So I can actually bring it down to this level. Now the weight is gonna be distributed a little bit different and it's gonna tilt a bit. But if I bring it back to this position and this position, I'm uh, pretty much set okay. Now behind the monitor, and you're gonna see this uh, in a second, or behind the triple screen setup, you're gonna find that there's a little kickstand and that's gonna help support the laptop screen that you have the main screen from tilting backwards. But you, can, you saw that as I distribute the weight by bringing these two sides in, you may have situations where the monitor or your laptop hinge for that monitor may come forward. So just watch about the distribution that you have. That's pretty normal. Now, a couple things I just wanted to highlight here about this setup is that you'll notice that there's some hinges here or you know, some lock positions. Uh, what ends up happening is when you remove this, and you can see how I just removed it right here. When you place it in, so here's what the setup looks like. It has kind of like in the back that mechanism right there. You bring it into place and you bring it in like this and then you align it here so that it locks in. Now, on the bottom, there's another, there's another locking area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it in just like this. This bottom piece holds the bottom part of your monitor. This top piece holds the top piece. And then I just do the same thing on this side and I just bring it in until they're locked in place. Now, right there, it's in position. I can probably bring this in a little bit more. Let's see. No, I think that's as far in as I'm gonna go. And you'll notice how everything is now well balanced. Now, let me show you how easy it is to fold um, the entire setup away. So I close my monitor, as you can see there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tilt this back like this. That's position one. And then I'm gonna put it forward position two. So this is all you have to do. Like if you're gonna take this with you, let's say on a plane, train, or take it to school, that's all you do. And then with the travel pouch, you just put it in the travel pouch. You can see that on this side, uh, the monitor gets exposed. So depending on how you're traveling with this, I would always have this towards the inside, never to the outside of a bag. And then this is the kickstand that I was mentioning to you that would be uh, positioned in the back. Now, to put this back together, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this monitor, pop it up, and I have the video that I was just playing still on screen. I'm gonna unfold it, right? And once I have that unfolded, I'm gonna bring it back, I'll flip this around a little bit. I'm gonna bring it back to where I was, open up the sides right here, and slide it in just like this. Make sure I have this side, this side sit in. The leg in the back, you know, I'll position it so that it's supporting the monitor well, and it is now. And now what I'll do is I'll connect the USB ports, right, that I want. So I'm gonna put one USB port here. And one of the things I'll notice is that you have to push in pretty hard to make sure that they lock into place. And you'll notice that as soon as I did that, it's starting to recognize that the monitors are back. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And remember, you have to push in. So you can hear that audible, if there's like a little click that takes place. And now what's happening is the laptop is starting to recognize it has the monitors are back and you'll notice that the screens are starting to power up. Uh, literally, that's all it takes. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.